Let's take a look at the country flags template at SharePoint dashboards.com. This is a simple template which you can use to improve the appearance in SharePoint lists in which you need to select a country for list records. This may be good especially in something like an employee directory or profiles of customers as a nice way to indicate their country in a visual manner. When you first arrive at the template screen, you can browse through the different theme options and this just gives you an idea of how this is going to look. You can adjust these settings um, for what the, whatever configuration you want. You can choose whether you want to show the country label or just have the flag and then you can also set whether or not you're going to use a border. And if you're going to use a border you can um, choose different colors for that. And then of course you can control the size of the flag. So I've got this slider here and I can increase or decrease the size of that um, to whichever size I want. There are some instructions here in terms of how to use this. You do want to use two fields. So one field should be a choice field in which you select the country. There's a link to a list which is provided for this. So if you click on the link that says countries list, it's going to pop open a new window and you should copy and paste those over to SharePoint. And what it says is you should create a field called select country. We want to call that select country because we're going to have a second calculated field which is going to repeat whatever was selected from that field and that's what we want to display in the dashboard. So let's review the SharePoint settings just to make sure that's not confusing. So if you look in my record here if I go to the form view You'll notice I have a field called country select, and that's a drop down of all the values that you saw on the list, which is provided. So we want to not apply any formatting on that field. The calculated field is simply called country, and that just uses a calculated field formula, which just passes the value in. So let's take a look at that real quick. Here's the country field and you simply need to put uh, equals and then pick the name of the country select column and it will simply repeat that value and we're going to use this field to apply the formatting. At this stage it's very easy to apply the template. You just select copy template, follow the instructions in the pop-up, click OK go to the column header, format this column, advanced mode, and replace that code with your template code, and there are the flags. Now once those are in there, you can adjust the column width however you want. You'll notice the content is automatically centered in there. And just to demonstrate how the selection works, I'm going to go ahead and change this first record. So if I go into the form, and now I'll go ahead and pick a different country. Let's go for Argentina and hit save. And here comes the flag for Argentina. So this will automatically update uh, for you. And as I mentioned, you can make these flags whichever size you want. If you have lots of records and you want to keep it more packed in, then you might want to go for something um, like the minimum width, which is 40 pixels width. So um, if you apply the template for that, um, that would be a little more packed in. So you can do column settings, repeat the same steps, go in here, replace your code, paste, and save. And now I have a little more packed in view if that's more the type of thing you're looking for. So this template's a nice way to improve the appearance of your SharePoint list in a situation where you have records where you're selecting a country value for that. This would be great for a directory of people or perhaps a directory of customers uh, where you want to have something eye-catching um, rather than just the plain text value. 
This template is available as part of the Pro Template Package. If you don't yet have SharePoint dashboards, you can sign up for a light sign up, which does include 20 free templates. Good luck.